what, what the man is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? We got a wild story out in Nepal. A woman is running for her life in the mountains. She's being chased by a Nepalese woman and she's being attacked with a wooden plank and the woman also threw rocks at her. She was running for her life. So Gemma Wilson told the story as she and her stepson, Charlie, were hiking through the Annapurna circuit when they stopped at a tea shop to get some tea. Charlie ordered some black tea. The shop owner charged them 150 rupees instead of the normal 50 rupees. 150 rupees is $2 US, 50 rupees is 67 cents. Gemma didn't like the price, so she inquired about it. She said that the shop owner got upset with her. They left, but before they left, they turned to take a picture of the shop. And that's when she said the shop owner became enraged, chased them all into the mountains, throwing rocks and hitting her with a plank. But you know what they say. There's two sides to every story. The shop owner, Miss Garoon, told a very different story on Facebook. She claimed that Miss Wilson had asked for tea to be served in her own cup rather than the one from the store, which was three times the regular size, hence the inflated price for the drink. Miss Garoon said that Miss Wilson queried the price of tea before throwing money on the ground, then attempted to take pictures of the shop. When Ms. Garoon asked Ms. Wilson to delete the photos, she claimed that Ms. Wilson took out a pen knife, which caused her to become afraid and lash out. She said, I screamed as loud as I could. I roared upon her and chased her. Angry and scared, I admit I threw a small stone. <laughs> I threw a small stone at her, which hit her hip. I did no harm to her other than that. The store owner said she had to shut down her shop for 15 days and explain to government officials why she did what she did. Which one y'all believe? I believe the shop owner. That's simple. You see, this goes back to when in Rome, do as the Romans. And this is also the reason why if you're a long way from home, like in a whole other country, perhaps getting a tour guide would help out a lot because a good tour guide can help you avoid things like that. I remember when I was living in Azerbaijan, I was living in the city of Baku. And uh, we went up to the countryside to buy my kids some puppies. <laughs> it's a crazy story. So we get to the place, and the kids are in the car, and the mother is in the car, and we got the, the driver, and it's me. So we get there, dude come out with the puppies, and the kids immediately fall in love with the puppies, right? So, <laughs> so I tell my driver, you know, how much? And he's like, he tell me what the price is. And so I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm from America, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, okay, cool, that's cool. The price cool, I ain't tripping on the price. But I need a, I need a receipt. So I had to pay down on it because he wasn't, the puppies wasn't ready to go, they hadn't had their shots. So the guy wasn't going to release the puppies, and I didn't want them either until they had their shots. So the guy, uh, 
the idea was I was going to pay me a, pay a down payment for the, for the puppies to, to claim them, and then I'll come back and get them in a couple of weeks. Well, I paid the down payment, <laughs> and I asked my driver, hey, tell him, give me a receipt, because the guy can't, you know, he, he don't speak English, he speaks Alzeri. So I'm like, I need a receipt. So my driver looked at me like, um, uh, you know, we don't really do that, you know, in, in, in this country. Like, you know, it's an honor system. Like, nobody cheats. We don't cheat each other, you know? <laughs> I'm like, America, like, I need a receipt. So I say, man, I don't, I don't care what y'all do out here, man. I need a receipt. I don't know him. So, so he, he, he gets out of the truck and explains to the guy, and the guy come back and, and grab the puppies <laughs> and take them in the house. <laughs> so I was like, well, you know, F him, man, we gone, whatever. So we start rolling. <laughs> so we driving about, we're driving and, uh, well, we're rolling along and, and, and the kids, I look back, they got puppy faces, they all sad. And I'm trying to be tough about the situation because I'm like, man, I need a receipt. You know, I don't know this dude, you know. And, uh, you know, the mother looking like, everybody got to look like, man, everybody want me to go back and get the puppies. And, and I'm trying to be tough. I'm like, man, I'm the bad guy. So after about... I said about maybe 15 minutes of driving. I was like, all right, turn around, man. <laughs> and I look back and everybody just starts smiling. But yeah, you know, when in Rome, you gotta do as the Romans, like you cannot just do your own thing. Like, and this woman, it wasn't just about adjusting, right? It wasn't just about her uh, it wasn't just about this woman trying to do as the Romans. This woman was very disrespectful. She threw, she threw the money on the ground. Very disrespectful. And she also was unreasonable in trying to put the tea in a larger, uh, in a container that's three times larger than the regular size and then get the same price. You know, that's something that you might do in America at Burger King or Jack in the Box or one of these fast food places. But, you know, you can't do that type of stuff everywhere. Right. So, yeah, old girl was dead wrong. She was dead wrong. And she was almost dead stoned because old girl wasn't playing with her. She called her a dog and she said, what else she called? She called her a donkey. And then she told her, you're dead. Like, oh man, you know, she was serious. And but I got a couple questions though. The girl was running, right? The woman was running. I said girl, she's 35 years old. The woman was running. Running for her life. But she got tired and stopped. And the woman caught up to her. How do you how do you get stoned and run out of breath? Man, I don't care what the altitude is. If somebody is chasing me, throwing rocks at me. I am going to find another gear to make sure I don't get stoned to death. Boy, she was running, boy, but she couldn't, she couldn't keep up. She couldn't, she, she, she just ran out of gas. And she just sat there like, please, please, you scared me. Don't. I don't know what happened to the sun. The sun vamped, dipped on her. Yeah, so... My first question is, how do you run out of how do you run out of gas when you're running for your life? <laughs> and number two, what happened to her son? Because <laughs> I didn't see him anywhere else. I mean, I, I didn't see him at no point after she said, "You're scaring my son." <laughs> oh man. I bet she's still running. 
No more talk. What, what the haters talking about?